Hey everyone, uh, welcome to College Heights Baptist Church. It's the first of uh, hopefully many updates we'll be posting in the weeks to come. Uh, the goal isn't to bring you updates about what's happening in our city with coronavirus. I'm sure you all have more than enough information. You're probably not looking for more. I know for me, I just need a break from that. What we do wanna use this space for is to keep you connected with what's happening at College Heights Baptist Church. And uh, kind of hopefully keep us connected a little bit with you. Um, so the first kind of update I thought I'd give you is um, the online services that we have on Sunday morning. We just had our first one this past Sunday and Chris Bowler let us know that we had over 700 page visits, website visits that day. About 550 of those were unique visits, meaning they weren't repeat people. Um, and as far as the Sunday video goes, we had just about 200 people so far watch that small service that we put together. And of those 200 different visits to the website for the video, many of those we know for a fact were families as well. So quite a few people online. And I share that with you so you're encouraged. It's probably weird to sit in front of a computer and watch that. It might feel lonely or empty. But I guess I'd encourage you when we see this Sunday the stream that's going to be put up that you're mindful in that moment maybe even pray before you start that video and just remind yourself that you're connecting to you know hundreds of people in our church family that are watching and participating we may not be together in the church building but by the holy spirit we're still family and god is going to hear our prayers that we pray together he's going to speak to us through his word as a church family too uh, as far as this Sunday goes, well, last week we just had uh, Todd's sermon and a prayer time with Dave and his kids. This week it'll feel more like a church service. We'll have some songs there too. So uh, yeah, look forward to that. Uh, another announcement I want to give you is we're going to have the church office open from 9 till noon, Monday to Friday. So come on in any time there. Uh, you can, if you're, we've had a couple people ask about making a gift uh, donation. You can do that then again, Monday to Friday, nine to noon. You can also use that time to come connect with pastoral staff. We'd love to see you, pray with you, find out if there's any way we can support you. Or maybe if we have coffee shops closing and you're looking just for a place to visit with a friend, come on by. And that also doesn't mean we're not working in the afternoons or not around. We'll be here many of the afternoons too. It's more just that you can count on the church office being open Monday to Friday, 9 to noon. Uh, and then the last thing I'll do, these video updates won't be more than four or five minutes, so I'll keep it tight. I wanted to give you an encouragement. Um, in James 1, we read that we should consider it pure joy whenever we face trials of many kinds. And uh, I don't think 2,000 years ago, James thought that various kinds would include a coronavirus epidemic or pandemic but here we are and it does feel like a trial it's probably painful for some of you who have had plans cancelled uh, trips no longer um, being taken that you've been looking forward to and maybe even it's hurt financially or some of you may be scrambling for child care and trying to figure out what the next month of life looks like others of you may not be feeling well and uh, it is a trial and I, I, I was reminded this morning that you know there's we often do the most growing during seasons of pain and there's kind of two ways pain enters in our life. Maybe the, the first way is we haven't chosen it. It's just um, a trial that we are going to have to go through. But sometimes pain enters our life and we call it discipline. We undertake steps intentionally knowing it's going to be hard and challenging so that we can grow and become a person that's more like Jesus. And in this case, we haven't chosen coronavirus. We haven't chosen to walk through this, yet here we are. And I think that God can and will use it if we cooperate with him to become more like Jesus. And so that's kind of the challenge I'd give you is that we receive this opportunity as a chance to grow. James continued saying that we know that the testing of our faith develops perseverance. We're certainly gonna learn how to persevere and perseverance must finish its work so that we can be mature and complete, not asking anything. When he speaks about mature and complete, he's actually talking about becoming like Jesus. So I guess the question I'd push to you this week is, how can this trial you haven't chosen make you more like Jesus? How can it persevere you? Um, 
what steps will you take to not waste whatever God wants to say to you and however he wants to shape and form you. Maybe some of you aren't sure of your next steps. Um, it follows by saying, if any of you lacks wisdom in the midst of trial, you can ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it'll be given to him. So how about we end there and uh, let me pray for us. God, thank you for your love for this world. Thank you for coming into this world, Jesus, and living, dying, raising again so that we could have new life. Thank you that nothing can take away the hope of new life that you give us. We pray that in this trial that we're in, that you would help us to persevere, that you would give us patience, that you would give us humble hearts that put first the needs of others. And Lord, that you would use whatever that you're going to have us walk through in the next days and weeks to make us more like Jesus. I pray that the testing of our faith that we're going through today and will go through uh, won't be wasted, but Lord, that we'll rise up to meet this opportunity. Uh, you've given us a lot of extra time we're not used to, and so we pray that we'd use it to invest wisely in our relationship with you and in getting to know our neighbors and loving the people around us. Help us to see the needs and um, by your Spirit's power to enter into those circumstances with love and with grace. We ask these things in Jesus' name and for your glory, our Father. Amen. Blessings.